What's going on guys, DJ Lunchbox here, back at it again from all of us at Lunchbox Gaming. Welcome and thank you for joining us on the channel today. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much. Let's go ahead and give this video a like if you like what I'm doing. For all those that are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you enjoy what's going on today. Also, let's try to get this video, you know, 25, 30 likes, I'm not sure. I'm new to this. So in today's episode, I will be doing a quick and dirty uh, future pinball BAM installation video. Uh, a lot of people in the virtual pinball community are uh, now gravitating towards future pinball to see what else is out there aside from VPX and pinball effects. Future pinball is one of the first pioneer uh, virtual pinball simulators that came out uh, back in the day. Uh, it has unfortunately been abandoned for about 10 years, but thanks to Rav Arcade, he has created what's called the Better Arcade Mode, which provides a whole lot of improvements and enhancements to future pinball, making it once again cutting edge um, and a whole new and fun experience. So let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head over to RavArcade.pl and grab the future pinball and bam two in one installer now for everything that i talk about today i will go ahead and put a link in the description on where you can download everything that you need to get bam up and running in 10 minutes flat well i don't guarantee that but it'll be quick so once you've downloaded the fp installer you're going to want to go ahead and run it I will be installing it on my uh, external drive uh, simply because I've already got it going and I don't want it to affect anything that I have. So once we run this, we'll go ahead and move this over to the big view. Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and accept, accept. Now I'm going to move it to eGames. That's perfect right there, Future Pinball. Now here you're going to want to go ahead and grab all of the, the plugins for head tracking. So BAM became popular because it had the head tracking using, using an Xbox Connect or PS toy, iToy. Uh, what that does, it gives you an immersive 3D feeling uh, via those uh, instruments. Now I don't particularly use it on my cab, but many do like to implement it. So go ahead and grab all these plugins. Um, you want to want to grab these physics XMLs just to have it and a few set of the ball textures, which are fun to change within game. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next. Uh, I won't be creating a desktop shortcut in this instance because I already have it going. So you can go ahead and do that if you'd like. Um, once we let this extract, get it going. Boom, you're ready to go. Let's not launch it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the folder structure first. So once it gets unloaded, you're gonna wanna go ahead and open it up. So we're gonna go to games and future pinball and there it is now you're going to see that within future pinball you have a future pinball exec exe file that is not what you're going to want to use to launch you are going to want to use the fp loader this is what is going to launch future pinball with um the bam enhancement so you can take advantage of all the BAM features. Now, back in the day, there used to be different EXEs. All you need is this one, because this one is all you need. You need the original 1.0 EXE. So before you move any further, I will have a link in the description to my CFG file. What is a CFG file? It's essentially a point of view of file uh, in a visual pinball speak. Um, this is my preferred settings for how I like my tables to look. I think it's a very good and generic uh, starting point. Um, I will show you how to make changes if you'd like. But for now, you go ahead and download it. I already have it downloaded here. So what I will do is I'll cut it and I will paste it. Whereas you should paste it in the future pinball BAM folder. Oh, oops, I can't see that. Yep, yeah, there you go. <laughs> So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and paste it here. Now, now that you've done that, we're gonna to need to get some tables. So the tables I recommend are from table author Slam Tilt. He has made some of the best and most uh, enjoyable future pinball tables over the last 10 years or so. In the past six months, 
he has gone ahead and released about 13 tables and calling them his ultimate pro versions, which are some of the best versions of the tables out there. They incorporate all of the uh, advantages that BAM has, like lighting, um, textures, and uh, physics as well. So I will put a link in the description to his web page where you can download all of his tables for free, as well as a link to his YouTube. Give him a follow. He has been a little out of the scene for the past few months, but his videos are always enjoyable. So in this instance, I've downloaded Robocop Ultimate Pro. So now that I've downloaded it, I'm going to show you a couple of things that you need to do. Um, first of all, you will need to open it up. And in that file, you will have four different files. Now, you're gonna take a step back. We're gonna go back to Future Pinball because I did forget one important thing. You will need to create a new folder and this folder will be called Scripts. Now, script folder is very, very important because certain tables have uh, DOF links included. You will need the DOF links script in that folder or else you will get an error. As such, there is another script that you will need, which is the ZB Rolling Ball Sounds Library script. This script is what gives Future Pinball its rolling ball sounds. So all you're gonna do in this instance is drag it over, copy it to your scripts folder, and there it is. Now, for DOF links, I do have that download and I will put it in the link below. DOF links, not necessary because not all tables are coded for DOF links, but it is good to have. So in this instance, I'll go ahead and open the DOF links uh, download. Open up Future Pinball again. Go back to scripts. Now you're gonna go to the DOF links zip file and you're gonna wanna drag the DOF links VBS script over to your future pinball scripts and that's it that's all you need to do so oops close the wrong window but we're going to go ahead and close this zip file we're going to go back over here and then we'll drag this into focus so let's go back to our um future pinball now once in this folder let's go back to the robocop ultimate pro folder now all of Slam Tilt's Ultimate Pro Tables will come with the same four files. You will get the table file, you will get a zip file, you will get a wheel art, and you will get a ZB Rolling Sounds library file. You only need to copy over the VBS script one time. You can ignore it in all other releases of Slam Tilt's tables. This is important right here. This zip file, all it contains is ball textures, a very nice, very beautiful ball texture. So a trick you can do, and you will only need to do this once, after that you will not need to copy this fo uh, folder, zip folder, out of Slam Tilt's folders. You're gonna go to the BAM, you're going to drag the zip folder to BAM, and then you are gonna rename this default. What this will do will, will give every single table this very beautiful um, bitmap file which is just a ball texture all right so now that you've got that folder in now that you've got it in there we're gonna go back to feature pinball now you are going to drag the FPT table file to your tables folder and that's it now we're ready to go so let's go ahead and clear this up And we're gonna go to BAM. And remember, we are going to be launching Future Pinball with the FP Loader EXE. Now, before you launch your table, you're gonna to wanna to obviously go to preferences. You're gonna to wanna to set your screens. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that if you're using two screens, your second monitor for your back box, and then in your video settings, you're gonna to wanna to click on play field, make sure your display one is your play field, set your resolution, click full screen, important, click arcade mode, click 270, widescreen. The rest of these are all optional. They will be based on your computer's performance. You can set it to maximum if you're running a pretty high-end PC. 
For back box, you're gonna do the same. You're gonna select back box. You're gonna select what display it is. You're gonna hit the resolution and then you're gonna be fine. Now let's go ahead and open our Robocop table. There it is. Now, you've got it in here, so you've got it ready to go. So let me go ahead and pull out and zoom out so we can get a look at what the table will look like. All right. Now we will go ahead and launch the tables. So if you've done this properly, if you've done this correctly, this should load up no problem. You shall not get any errors and you should be ready to play as soon as you have your button set up. I will show you a couple of tricks in case this isn't set properly, but with my config file, you should be good to go, except for maybe some personal preferences like filling up your screen. But your back glass should be set. Your play field should be set. Ignore my third screen for the moment because uh, we're only going to work with two screens right now. Um, Future Pinball does not natively uh, work with three screens. You can get a third screen going for a DMD using a uh, program called Future DMD, but that I will save for another day. So, as you can see, tables loaded and your back glass is loaded, but it does not look correct. So we're gonna go ahead and make a few changes. First thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to grab your keyboard. Once you grab your keyboard, you're gonna wanna hit the letter Q so you can get this specialty menu popping up. Now, you're gonna to wanna to go drop down to options. And in options, you're gonna to wanna to switch from basic to advanced. Now, once you switch to advanced, your screen should have changed. So, once you switch to advanced, now you've gotten to see some more options available. Now you show yours will look like this. Your table will look exactly like the CFT file is set up. Now, if you will notice, back box still not looking that great so what we're going to do we're going to go down to table and lighting we're going to go into that and then we're going to go look for back box we are going to go and switch the use settings from table config to global so now you're going to want to switch the options you're going to see there for the presets so currently, it's just that back glass. And while it looks better, you still need to fill up the screen. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back, we're gonna select the preset, and we're gonna go back glass stretch. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and there you go. Back glass is full left to right however once you hit q to get back into your table while it looks very nice you've still got the on-screen scoring and you've got that old very tired future pinball watermark so we're going to go back into the menu we're going to go into the main menu and from this menu, you're going to want to go back to the previous menu. And now you're going to want to hit config. When you go down to config, you're going to want to go to add-ons. Now in add-ons, you're going to want to scroll down to the right. First thing you're going to want to turn on is hide FP logo. This will make your future pinball logo fade away after a few seconds. And then you're going to want to hide the overlay, which is what your table sc scores are. Once you turn that on, back to previous menu. Now, while my scores are still on the table, a lot of things need to have the table reset, but let's go ahead and take a look at the table. It's working great. 
Now let's go ahead and if you've got your button set up, we will launch something here. So got a credit going. All right, your table is set. So remember earlier when uh, it told you you could download some textures, see that beautiful texture? That is your default texture. you see that very nice very attractive earlier when we downloaded it we downloaded some ball textures so you're going to want to go to your keyboard and you're going to want to hit the end key and that will cycle through all the different preloaded feature pinball ball textures they got some very cool ones all right and back to the default one so now that we've got that going, you've got your table looking nice, you've got your back glass looking nice, everything looking good. Let's go ahead and exit the table. And we're back to this main menu. And that's it. Um, that's all you need to go and get yourself loaded with Future Pinball and all the cool tables. Um, once you've set that and you reload the table, you will no longer see the score on the field, nor will you have the FP logo. Um, now that should that should be it that should be going uh for any other questions go ahead and leave me a question below i will answer it go ahead and hit my facebook group uh that will be in the description as well below as well as all the links to everything you saw here today i hope this was informative i hope i didn't bore you i hope this gets you up and running quick as possible uh once again dj lunchbox thank you for check tuning into the channel today and Bearing with you this very quick and dirty install. All right, catch you guys next time. Thanks.